Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye. Now here is the question. OABC is a regular tetrahedron, each side of which is made of uniform wire of resistance 4 ohm per meter. The length of each side is 2 meter. The point M is the midpoint of side BC. The resistance between O and M is, here we have given 4 options. Options are 5 ohm, option B, 4 ohm, option C, 10 ohm, option D, 15 ohm. And this question is asked, NSEP exam 2024, 24th November. Now, according to this arrangement here, we have given each side of length 2 meter of this tetrahedron and value of resistance is given 4 ohm per meter. So, resistance of each side that is 4 into 2, 8 ohm resistance. Is it okay? So, here we have redraw this diagram which showing the resistance that is 8. It is also 8. This is point B. This is O. Here is also 8 ohm resistance. This is 8 ohm resistance. This is 8 ohm resistance. 8 ohm resistance. Okay. And this is actually here M is a midpoint of the side BC. So, therefore, its resistance is also half. That is 4 ohm and it is also 4 ohm. Is it okay? Now, it's, uh, you can see that this diagram is symmetrical. So, by using folding system, it make it easy. Folding system and symmetrically. So, therefore, you know that very well. Whenever the diagram is symmetrically, then we can fold the resistance become half. So, this 8 ohm resistance falls on the side AB. This OC, uh, AC falls on AB. So, this uh, O and B here, the net resistance become 4 ohm. Is it okay? This is common side as it is. This point is O. This OC falls on OB. So, again, this 8 ohm resistance become half. That is 4. And this, uh, this point M and C point falls on BM. So, this is become 2 ohm resistance. This is M. Is it okay? So, now you can see that here we have calculated the net resistance between O and M. So, firstly, you can see that B O and O2, sorry, B A and A to O that is in series. So, 4 and 8 that is become 12. This is 12. Okay, this is point is O and here this is 4 meter D and here is 2 ohm resistance that is M. Okay, so you can see that here 4 again 4 ohm and uh, 12 ohm are in parallel. So 12 into 4, 12 plus 4. 12 fours are 48 and 12 plus 4 that is 16 that is equal resistance 3 ohm so its net value between B and O that is 3 ohm and this is 2 ohm so net resistance is 5 ohm is it okay M to O so correct option that is A 5 ohm I hope so you understood this question thank you Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again.